being here with us today. Oh, thank um, you so much. Happy, yep, so happy to be here. Both of you here. It's Absolutely. our special edition of Art Happens in Greensburg. We're here in this exceptional gallery of contemporary American art. Um, we're totally blown away by seeing local artists like Thaddeus Mosley, behind us Jane Haskell, right over here Aaron Alderoy Gruber, and then we have Saul LeWitt, incredible. Mm -hmm. um, and John McCracken over here. Totally amazing. And so we're just kind of blown away by this new space, newish space. And can this museum in Greensburg. Right. Short drive, people. Very Lots short drive. Very short drive. <laughs> So the, we're standing in the new wing, which is cantilevered out over the beautiful southwestern Pennsylvania landscape, 16-foot high ceilings, which allows us to show contemporary art, post-1950 uh, American yes. art. And uh, the Westmoreland has a really strong belief in supporting your local artists. Our historical collections also reflect uh, the region, which is unusual for a museum our size. You know, a lot of our museums in small towns want to be the metropolitan, and so they they ignore their regional base. Yeah. Yes. And we're looking forward to the, checking out the work that you were deeply involved with, with Janet Zweig, and being deeply rooted in the community, yes. connecting to the main street on the bridge. Bridging the gap. So exactly. great. Um, public art. And one of the things we do with our exhibitions too, our traveling exhibitions, is to bring in uh, art that uh, complements the collection, mm -hmm. um, things that maybe fit gaps in our collection or strengthens an area of the collection. And we partner with New York Historical, which you mentioned as being a great show, which was life in the 19th century. Amazing. And we did all sorts of panels to try and talk about the issues that they were dealing with as artists in the 19th century that are still going on in the 21st century. Yeah, I saw century. Tony Norman here. <laughs> yeah, Tony Norman came and did a panel, yeah. which was great. You know, we talked about marginalized communities. Yes. Who were they in the 19th century? Who are they today? Uh, so trying to bring contemporary issues to historical art. Well, we know you have a gigantic party with 500 people tomorrow. Yes. We we're celebrating our second party. anniversary here mm -hmm. with our big art party. Mm -hmm. And it is big, and it's all about art. And it starts black and white, and then it goes to color. At the Ooh, end of during the, the party, during the party, yeah, cool. all sorts of crazy things. You can still get tickets. Well, we're excited about on. that, and yeah, we're gonna back. give you your piece so that you can get to your big art party. Thank you for taking a moment for I'm planning. So glad that you broke up my day this week. It's great <laughs> to see you both. Thanks, yeah, Judy. Thank you. Thank you. Well, we certainly learned a lot today here in Greensburg, Pennsylvania. We learned that artists live and work everywhere. Yes. Optimism is alive and well, despite the current circumstances. So many people are hopeful and working on great things. We have to remember that. It's true. Creativity is where it happens. Thank you for joining us for this special edition of Art Happens Greensburg.